Hi everyone, uh, Tim from Workshop 12 here with an update on the 370Z project. So uh, just to give a recap on where we are right now. Um, so we worked uh, to be able to get uh, some different pre-orders from the community to be able to say let's go ahead and do this project for being be able to get some uh, Berniac plastics into the 370Z. Uh, from there we went and uh, scanned one of the different cars. So uh, scanning one of the cars that's the non-navigation unit um, that has the, the climate controls on the bottom as a separate uh, control module. Scanned the vehicle to be able to make sure that uh, we had all of the different information that we needed for being able to create the plastics. Uh, next step was being able to pick out the tablet that we're going to be using. Um, we needed something that was going to fit for size into the dashboard and still have a uh, good performance um, for, for the, any kind of apps and stuff you might want to run inside of your car. Um, so the decision there was the Galaxy Tab A 10.1-inch. Uh, um, so then we had that, that was sent off to be scanned as well so that we had the exact dimensions to put into the car. Next step was really coming up with the first, uh, I guess you would call it concept art on what it could look like in the dashboard based off of the scans and the dimensions that we had. Um, so we posted that up in a previous video so you can actually kind of see how uh, that would look. Um, whether it be a seam line or not a seam line, uh, couldn't quite tell yet at that point because really we needed to get to the next stage which was this stage that we're talking about now which is really figuring out um, how can we assemble all of the different pieces together so everything in the 370z dashboard goes in in a certain order and there's overlaps of parts there's tabs there's all sorts of things of how it fastens and comes together so we need to figure out how we would be able to get the tablet in there with the right holder and still have the way to be able to uh, get that into the dashboard so that's the phase that we're in now and we have the uh, latest uh, photos in now and kind of the, the mechanical way that we're going to put things together. So if you uh, take a look at the, uh, the picture here, we've got um, a few different pieces. So we've got the tablet holder that's at the back, then we have you know, the tablet that's gonna snap into that. We can see that we've got the climate control pieces at the bottom that are going to go into the face plate that faceplate would then fasten in there as well and then we've got the kind of the overall um, you know the vents and stuff that fit over top of those um, so that's kind of the general mechanics of how it all goes together um, but then there's going to have to be kind of a specific order so the order of how everything's going to work is we're going to have first that tablet holder that's likely going to get like i said have the tablet snap into it You'll likely then fasten the existing climate control module into the faceplate on the back. Then you're going to connect that faceplate to the tablet holder itself. Then screw in that whole unit into the actual dashboard. Uh, and then the final piece is putting the overlap of the vents that go over top and that should button everything up into the dashboard. So the last phase that we're in now is really doing the detail work. So this is where all of the different tabs and everything need to line up, um, how it's going to fit exactly into the dashboard um, to be able to make everything work. Um, so there's a lot of detail that goes into this step. Um, we need to make sure that everything's going to be secured into the dash so it's not wobbly when you're pressing onto the, onto the tablet, that it feels solid in there. Um, and all of those last little bits and making sure that mechanically everything will go together with the clearances so that you can still screw it into the dashboard uh, and have everything work. So that's kind of the last phase that we're going through as part of the 3D modeling and the design. And then from there we should be able to do our test prints and try it out and see if it will fit into the dashboard the way that we expect it in real life outside of 3D space. So that's an update of where we are on the project. Um, we'll be making sure that we're providing you all sorts of updates as we go along um, and uh, hopefully you stay tuned and see how this all works out. Uh, we're looking forward to, to getting this out there and really excited to get to the next step.